So rather than a daily vlog where I do a bunch of random stuff throughout the day, today's video is just gonna focus on me doing one particular task, and that is putting together a gaming slash computing setup for my friend Ian, who's gonna be moving in with me, but it's, it's a temporary move. He's only gonna be here for a few months. He basically got a new job in downtown LA that's really far from his current place, so the commute would be way too long. So he's gonna live with me for a while because I live a lot closer to his new job until he can find his own place that's much closer. In the meantime, I have a lot of work to do because I have a completely empty bedroom that I'm planning to convert into a functional livable guest bedroom for him when he gets here. And like I said, there's absolutely nothing in it. So I actually already purchased every single thing I need to make it complete, but a lot of that stuff is on back order or is gonna take weeks to get here. The shipping delays have been really awful, just like the audio in this room, so I'm gonna step out of it. But what has arrived is everything needed for his desk setup. In fact, I already had a lot of the stuff lying around at the studio, you know, peripherals and computer stuff. The setup's actually gonna be kinda unique in the fact that it's going inside of the bedroom closet. The challenge for me is to make the closet space still function as a closet while also fitting a full-fledged gaming setup. So it's gonna be interesting. The setup's gonna be super compact, as you might expect. Uh, and let me just go through some of the items that I bought. Before that, this video is brought to you by cdkoffers.com, a cool website I found for all of your game keys and software key needs. You can find keys for really cheap and they're reliable. And I just so happen to really need a Windows 10 Pro key for a system that I just built. Let me punch in my payment information really quick. Buy now. All right, here's my key. And the system's already activated, but we can just change the product key to the one we just bought. And if all goes smoothly, activate. It works, yay, so super legit. Go ahead and follow the link in the description below, guys, and be sure to use the code BW20 for 20% off any of the keys or orders that you make at cdkoffers.com. So this is the desk. I got this off of Amazon. It was like a 32 inch, 32 inch wide desk, so very narrow, but it should be just big enough for everything I'm trying to fit on it without it seeming like a little kid's desk. And then behind that we have a closet rack. I just got a simple black metal frame closet rack, super cheap as well on Amazon. This is the monitor stand from Vivo. It's just a single monitor that we're putting on this desk. There isn't much room for more than that. Oh, I should just show you guys. I should show you guys the monitor. You shouldn't look at this room. It's ridiculously messy right now. You bring the monitor out. So here's the display, the LG 27GP850. I actually just did a video on this on Bitwit not too long ago, so you guys can check that out if you want, but it's 1440p, 27 inches, IPS, and it overclocks to 180 hertz. One millisecond greater response time, and Ian is a PC gamer, so I think he'll really appreciate this panel. I'm not exactly sure what he has at home, but uh, this should at least match, if not top it. And notice that the included stand has one of those triangular bases, which makes it really hard to keep the monitor back, which sucks if you have a really compact desk that's not too deep, because then the monitor is really close to your face, and your peripherals have to get a lot closer to the edge so you can't really extend your hands or your arms out comfortably. So I think putting it on a monitor stand like this one is almost essential for this kind of setup. The keyboard is one that I pulled from the studio. This is a Cooler Master MK730 mechanical gaming keyboard with Cherry MX red switches. Cooler Master sent this to me a long time ago and I don't think I ever used it for anything. I might have taken it to like CES once or twice. For the mouse, I'm using one of my favorite wireless gaming mice from Logitech. This is their G305 wireless. The battery lasts a long time. It's very precise, very low latency, and uh, just has a really nice ergonomic feel for being an ambidextrous mouse. We also have have a super small mouse pad. I just got this cheap thing on Amazon. It's actually uh, been used, as you can see. It's not very new. I probably need to clean it a bit. I wanted to use one of our Ensemble One desk mats from bitwit.tech, of course, but uh, it's actually a little bit too big. It's exactly 32 inches, which is the exact same size or the exact same width as our desk here, which isn't gonna look that great. I usually like to leave a few inches at least in between the edge of the desk and whatever desk mat I'm using. So I think this is just a little too big. Also can't forget about cable management. This is just a simple channel raceway that goes underneath the desk. I've been using the for the last year or so in the studio. They work really well. And then I think the last thing is, oh, I forgot to bring out the PC as well. Hold on. Okay, two more things actually because I forgot about the gaming headset. Corsair Void Pro RGB Wireless and the PC, which is not the PC I'm actually gonna be using for the final setup because this is my dad's PC. I just built this for my dad. It's for his birthday next week. I'm gonna hand it off to him. So this is just a placeholder for now until I build a permanent system or a semi-permanent system for Ian once he gets here. I'm not exactly sure what specs I'm gonna use, but I believe in here, if I remember correctly, Ryzen 5 3600 and a GTX either 1650 or 1650 Ti. I can't remember which one, but my dad doesn't really game, so he doesn't need that much horsepower. Uh, the system that I built for Ian is gonna have a lot more power in it than this one, but it's gonna be similar in size, again, because of the small setup. If you want links to any of this stuff, I'll drop it in the description. There's not a whole lot to put together, it seems, but I know how certain things like cheap furniture is on online that you buy online. The, the manual sucks. It's always like a pain in the ass to put it together, so who knows how long it's actually gonna take. I'm just gonna get started on it now, and we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, I just put the clothing rack and the desk together and there they are. They went together pretty easily. Instructions weren't as bad as I thought. Quick notes about each item. So this clothing rack is functional, but super cheap, incredibly lightweight. I wouldn't recommend it for, for permanent use. For something like a guest bedroom, I think it's fine, but uh, I don't think I would actually use this in uh, in a room that was getting 24 seven use. It's just, uh, it's just too lightweight, a little flimsy. There's not too much wobble and stuff, but it's just a really, really cheap uh, clothing rack. So bear that in mind. That's probably why it was like 30 bucks. So I don't really care. The desk, however, is awesome. I really like this desk. The quality is good. I mean, for the 50 bucks I paid for it, it's actually got a really nice finish. Like it doesn't look nearly as cheap as I thought it would. And it's sturdy. It doesn't really wobble at all. It's got some weight to it. And like, this is all metal and stuff. It feels really rigid. So I would highly recommend the desk. That being said, I think I went a little too conservative on the desk size. It's a little, it's a little smaller than I thought it'd be in this space. Like look at how much wasted room there is. So if we actually max this out, move that all the way to the end, move this all the way to the end. That's a lot of wasted space. I could have a desk nearly twice as wide and it would still probably fit. I just looked it up on Amazon. This exact same desk comes in a 40 inch or a 47 inch version. This is 32 inches. So 40 inches would be right about there, right about there to the end of the tape measure there. 47 would be right where the tape measure is. So 47 would barely fit. Actually, it would fit just fine because it would only go up to here and there's another like couple inches that it could even go in further. So I think I'm gonna do a 47 inch table. I'll probably either just return this or sell it or keep it for something else. I'm definitely gonna replace that with a longer one. We're gonna go 47 inches. If I order it on Amazon right now, it should be here in a day or two. And by the way, putting a wider desk in here means we also have more room for activities. So if we wanted to, we could actually upgrade the monitor monitor from a standard 16 by nine to an ultra wide, which means I got to get a new stand because that stand only goes 27 inches, ultra wide would be 34 inches. So I have to get a new stand. I already have an LG ultra wide display that we could use. It's a gaming monitor. That would be really sick here. So let's just skip ahead. We'll jump roughly two days into the future. I'll order some more stuff and we'll see if we can make better use of this space. All right, it's been roughly a week since the last time you and I spoke and a lot has changed. Got the new desk in. Here she is, the 47 incher. I already assembled it on cam off camera because you don't need to see it twice. But look at how much wider it is than the old desk. And look at, it's, it's actually a much lighter finish than, than the first desk, desk two, obviously. Uh, they're unique. I really like this finish a lot more though. I think it contrasts much more nicely with the black and it's, it's a bit more two-tone. It looks a bit more dynamic and, and stuff. This is just kind of like really dark and whatnot. But anyway, because we have so much more room there, a lot has changed about what I'm actually planning to put on the desk. So starting with, we'll just go from left to right here. We've got a new monitor arm stand because because we're, we're putting a new monitor. Now we're using a 34 inch curved ultra wide. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump that. 3440 by 1440. The model on this is LG Ultra Gear 34, 34GK 950F. 144 hertz, one millisecond response time, nano IPS. It's it's a gorgeous display, and I think it's gonna look really nice on this monitor mount. I'm also changing out all the peripherals that we initially had to white. I kind of just want things to be a little bit more bright and inviting for the guest room. So we're gonna switch things up. Instead of using black, I'm gonna use this white and pro two. I've heard great things about this 60% keyboard. It's got mechanical switches, genuine Cherry MX. I actually got the Cherry MX blue ones though, so they're all loud and clicky. I might swap it out for Cherry MX browns, but uh, either way, really nice keyboard, fully backlit with RGB light and it's got a USB type C port, which is why I also bought this from Angitu, whatever. It's basically a, a USB type C coiled cable meant for mechanical keyboards and stuff. I've, I've actually never used a coiled cable for a keyboard like this before, so I'm kind of excited. I think it's gonna pair really nicely together because this is also white. Speaking of which, this mouse that I already had lying around is the Logitech G305 in white. It's wireless and it's awesome. I really like this mouse, although I lost the wireless receiver. No idea where the, the USB uh, dongle receiver went. So I actually just ordered another one. So once that comes in, I'll have to swap that out. So for now, this is just going to be a placeholder for the video. Also got an uh, Void RGB Pro or Void RGB Elite Wireless from Corsair. Pretty much the exact same one that I had, except also in white, just to get all matchy matchy. We got a six outlet surge protector here that I'm going to try to mount to the bottom of the desk to clean up cable management, along with that cable channel that I mentioned before. Now that we have more room on the desk, we can also use the bitwit.tech mouse pad, the Ensemble M, uh, which is in black with white trim. The design is in white. I think it's going to look really, really nice actually when all said and done. And then of course the PC is now white. We had a black ZX one before, but that was also a placeholder. It was actually my dad's. I already gave it to him over the weekend for Father's Day and his birthday. He loved it. But anyway, this is a similar case ZX one in white. It's also the water cooled version. So it's slightly taller so it can fit a 240 millimeter radiator inside. I actually did the build in this um, not too long ago on the Bitwit channel. So some of you guys might uh, be familiar with this system already. It's a little overkill for Ian's PC or for any guest bedroom PC for that matter. It's got a Ryzen 
950, 950X and uh, an RX um, 6800 XT. I, I may very well have to swap those parts out down the line, but for now, I'll just let it slide. So obviously the parts have changed dramatically since last week, but I, I honestly think that this is the way to go. Aesthetically, I think it's gonna look a lot nicer, a lot more inviting, a lot more homey and cozy, but I guess we'll just have to see what it looks like when it's finally done. So let's get to it. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, 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 bum. Setup complete. Closet setup. My first closet setup didn't turn out too bad. Honestly, it looks really clean. Look at this keyboard. This keyboard and the coil. Oh, oh my god. I can't wait to actually build my first custom keyboard or mechanical keyboard. Uh, sorry, the, the lights are going crazy. That's just the shutter speed on the camera. It's not actually doing that. But uh, everything turned out super nice. I'm, I'm digging how the, uh, the ultra wide looks in here on this setup. It doesn't look too cramped, right? It doesn't look too oversized. Any bigger, I think it'd look a little claustrophobic, but this is this is just right. And then uh, you can't really tell because the camera makes the, the desktop wallpaper look kind of purpley and pink, but it actually matches the salmon colored top of, of our case really nicely. I just can't tell, which is kind of a shame. Obviously the, uh, the lights are sort of that salmon color as well. Cable management. Babushka, hell yeah. Yeah, I spent some time on this. This took a little while, but it was actually pretty straightforward. You know, I've got the uh, got the power strip right there with our PC and monitor plugged in, two cable channels that I adhere to the bottom as well. And actually the, the, the stand itself, really nice stand by the way, I would highly recommend it. I'll drop a link in the description if you guys are interested. But generally, I, I, at first I wanted to put the stand way off to the left because I feel like it just gives the monitor a more floating effect when the stand's off to the side. But if you look under here, I couldn't really do that because the uh, there's a support bar. The desk has a support bar that was interfering with where I wanted to mount the monitor stand. However, the support bar made a really nice place for the monitor power brick. You can see I just velcroed it right there and it's uh, it's nice in place and secure and stuff. So it actually all worked out. And honestly, the stand doesn't look too bad at all uh, where, it, where it's at currently. And you can see it's still, it's still a closet to some degree. I just, these are my clothes. I just put them here so you guys can get an idea of how the space is gonna be used uh, for Ian. And Ian actually moved in, I forgot to mention, he moved in a few days ago, but he's only staying with me Monday through Wednesday. I forgot to mention that. So only half the week. And you can see it's kind of lived in already. Well, all the crap on, on the futon is mine. But uh, he's been sleeping on this, this lousy futon of mine that's not very comfortable. Fortunately, he has like a memory foam topper on it that he brought, but eventually he's gonna be switching over to this uh, bed frame or the bed. I put together this bed frame a few days ago, but the mattress is still like a month out. It's, it's on back order, everything's delayed because of COVID and stuff. So playing the waiting game right now, hopefully in a month or so, it'll all be furnished. I, I already bought everything else uh, for the room. So once that all comes in, it'll actually look like a functional bedroom. I even got some cool art pieces for the walls and stuff. So it just it just fills out the place. Speaking of which, it looks really blank on this wall right now. I did pick out um, another decor piece that's gonna be mounted right in the middle. I think that'll really add a nice touch of, of character and make it just look a little bit less empty on this wall. But uh, there's the setup, guys. What do you guys what do you guys think of my first closet setup? Would you game here? Would you game here on this 5950X and 6800XT? I'm pretty sure most people would. I know Ian will like it. This will be a nice little space for him to just chill at, you know, whether he's browsing the web, gaming, whatever. I could even do a webcam. I could put a webcam and a boom, ooh, a boom arm with a, with a microphone. We can make this little streaming area. Wait, okay, I'm just getting ahead of myself right now. So one thing at a time, maybe we'll do that in the future. But for now, that's enough for one video, guys. Thank you for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Toss a like if you did, get subscribed. And also, uh, I know I haven't posted a vlog in a while. It's been kind of slow. Well, it hasn't been slow. It's been the opposite of slow. I've been really busy, distracted with a bunch of other things. But I promise another vlog is coming soon. So I appreciate your guys' patience on that. Have a good one, guys. I will see y'all in the next video.